Hello friends, acquaintances, and enemies of all ages, my name is Combat Bird, and this is my series Let's Get Physical, where we go over my favorite physics games from when I was a kid, as well as the physics games that you all recommend to me. Burnt Fires 22 recommended Sumatori Dreams. Let's get into it. The name Sumotori stems from the Japanese words sumo, which means wrestler, and tori, which in this case means fighter. And it's a game that does just that, sumo wrestling. Well, kind of anyways. Imagine you took everything you knew about sumo wrestling and replaced it with boxes. That's Sumotori Dreams. You're matched up against a box person like yourself, and you must do whatever you can to make sure they hit the ground first. The only problem is, there isn't exactly much you can do. You only have a few different control options. The arrow keys will move you ever so slightly left or right, or forward faster than your character can keep up with. Backspace is pushed with two hands, and Enter is pushed with one. You can also do a small jump if you press the down arrow key with the right timing, but this isn't particularly useful. The fact that the controls feel so janky actually makes the game feel better in my opinion. This game isn't trying to be a competitive fighting game by any means, and it isn't taking itself too seriously. The game comes preloaded with a few maps, and every map has the option to play with 1 to 4 sumos. This sounds fun in concept, but honestly once you get past 2, the game just becomes a giant cluster of sumos falling over themselves. Oh yeah, this seems... fair. Now once again, I want to emphasize that this is what makes the game interesting. You really shouldn't focus on who wins or loses. The game encourages this fact even more since the scoreboard is virtually useless. In the standard arena, it's fine, the last man standing wins. But in any of the custom maps, you lose the second you touch anything. So this map, for example, leaves you next to no reason to even worry about it. I do really enjoy the fact that after a match has ended, the game won't reset until you tell it to, allowing for you to continue controlling your sumo. This results in a great amount of funny moments. Now once you've experienced all of the preloaded maps, you may realize that there really isn't much to Sumotori Dreams. But wait, there's more. Sumotori has a somewhat unfriendly level editor. It's pretty complicated, but the community has figured it out and made a massive amount of levels that you can play. There's a YouTube channel named Sumo Creations that I'll link in the description. He has a pack that you can download for free with over 50 of his own custom made maps. Sadly, this actually ends up bringing up one of Sumotori Dream's big flaws. With such a wide variety of maps available, you really want to try them all. But the only way to switch between them is to close the game, open up the launcher, load a new mod, open the actual game which makes you wait for these damn swinging signs to fall before you can even start to play, and then... you can finally play. This may not seem like a big deal, but when you want to try out a bunch of mods to find some favorites for yourself, this is such a big time waster. So overall, Sumatory Dreams is a fun game to mess around in, but don't expect to get a ton of time out of it. It really is more of a pick up and play for 15 minutes every couple of months type of game. Does that mean you shouldn't try it? No, of course not. The link will be in the description down below. And as always guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.